Okay, so when you go to your interview for a job or when you in there doing a case that have to do, you know, when you in the court, you know, doing a case or whatever like this, you know, do you think that the people want to hear what you got to say about that case or do they want you to be playing your rap music in the background? You know what I'm saying? And then which one they going to judge you off of? Because, you know, more than likely when you doing your songs or your music, you talking about one thing in one way. And then what? And then when you in your real life chilling and with your family and stuff, you another way. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not you. That's just what you do. Or that's your whatever. That's the entertainment or something like this. And this is you as a real motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like people is taking my performance or whatever this is, you know, which is not a performance. This is my message or something like this and trying to fit it in with something but it's just like dude you know what the fuck is wrong with people like if you want to know something directly ask a motherfucker something like what is this because i don't know i kind of feel like the shade that's being thrown is you know, how I do things on my channel, like, I talk kind of, like, in cold, kind of, like, whatever, to stay away from, you know, those that don't, that shouldn't have to understand. And so, you know, the media, you know, it's funny looking at the media, excuse me, <clears throat> because they so smart and they got algorithms, they got all this other shit and everything, they could, you know, with your voice and the words and stuff that you say, but... You know, it's almost like some of the way I feel like some people talk today is like a new way of pig Latin. Y'all remember that E say, B say, whatever the fuck, however it was, okay? <laughs> I remember my, auntie, my aunties when they were teenagers would speak it. But it's almost like a new pig Latin. So these, sometimes I feel like they'd be like trying to mount energy on energy. Or if you read between the lines, like when they talk about Kamala Harris, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like that reflects on kind of like messages that I put out or whatever that might, these people that might be in those situations may not, may be like, what is this girl talking about? Or why are we even listen to this person or whatever? But at the same time, you know, to a whole other group of motherfuckers, it means something. <laughs> it's like they, and that's why I feel like this is groups. Okay. It's almost like you, you got to have a cold to get in here. And then, but it's almost like, you know, to one group, they looking at somebody like strange or interesting or whatever, but you got to have the code to get in there. But I noticed that they keep using this uh, term to describe Kamala as like uh, a salad bowl message or mixed up choppy. And I could think that if somebody that ain't tapped in or in tune was listening to my message, that's what they're going to get. But it ain't the message ain't obviously ain't for them. You see what I'm saying? That's that part in Enoch where where now their language is, you know, the language is confused to a certain extent, but it may be as a barrier here, a protective barrier. This is a time when those people are not going to know what's about to be happening and going on next. I guess it's not for them to know. Because if you had eyes to see and ears to hear, you would know. Yeah. That's the part I feel like what they're talking about. But it also means that that's when it comes to the heavens. These people trying to block me out of heaven. But I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to a position that may even be over that. If not already. Hmm. Strange. But yeah, there's skeptical things going on around here. You know what I'm saying? And people acting like I ain't noticing. I think somebody working extra hard probably um, to to neglect their main family and maybe that's what I've been sitting heavy with a masculine. Um, and 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 work extra hard to buy like to get things for. Somebody else, but it also makes me think that they somebody is trying to remove my energy and place it into another vehicle or another vassal or whatever. Some of my energy and put it in a, another vassal. But it's almost like a one of those animals or creatures that when you cut off their leg or something, it grows back. But so it's really just expanding. 
my energy on the plane. And, you know, the way I look at that is kind of like strange because one day if I found a way to block that or take all of that back or something like that, then, you know, I think that would be a bad idea for those people that think that that's a good idea to spread the energy. Hmm. It's like mini me or minion. Minion keeps popping up in my mind for some reason. Again, fair use. Because it's almost like, could you imagine like, because I have this sense like, it's like, girl, do you know how rich you is? But it's almost like everybody else is living off of it. Whatever the fuck this abundance is. It, but thou art rich. The ones that say they are Jews, but they are not. They are the whatever of Satan. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's like, I don't know if it has something to do with a trust and treasury and trust issues and, you know, trust no one. And that's the thing. I don't want nobody having access to anything that belonged to me. N nothing. Not the men, not the money, not the abundance, not my bodily fluids, not my nothing. And if that's the case, motherfucker, we're going to have to go ahead and learn how to sever all them ties right now today. I don't want nobody waiting around to see what I'm about to get. I don't want to wait around to see what nobody else is going to get. You know what I'm saying? Either somebody got love or they fucking don't. You know what I'm saying? Because you can have all the money in the world, but if, you, if I don't feel a connection or if you don't love me, then I, I can't even deal with it. I'd rather just don't have the shit. You see what I'm saying? And motherfucker, I would rather have it <laughs> with a good motherfucker at the same time. So, you know, that's that's all I'm looking for at this point. Like, I feel like this is that time in my life where anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. But I, I, I don't believe in no overnight marriages, no shit like that. I don't believe in no whatever. I don't believe in these secret conservatorship, secret marriages that people might be linking themselves. I, I don't believe in really none of that stuff, really. Unless it's talking about like nation building and we talking about some clean motherfuckers or some right motherfuckers or some good motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That that ain't trying to be like this little mouse right here. Trying to gnaw or these moths trying to, you know, see what they can devour or this bat. You know? Like, I don't understand. I feel like people look at me and wonder what does that person want or what is that? It's just reg some old regular shit but with something else in the background. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to have the spotlight or whatever. I don't, like, I don't necessarily have to, but I can handle it too. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at myself. I don't know. And if I'm not in a, a limelight or something like this, you know, especially or it outside of my home, I step out how I'm supposed to step out. When I'm called to do something or I got an occasion or something that I have to do to, a motherfucker stepping out looking like she needs to look. Well, while I'm in my house or whatever, who am I trying to impress? Obviously, it's somebody because somebody watching. <laughs> like, that's what I feel. And the whole, the whole lot of them, they act like they not. They just, you know, I don't think nothing really happened for just no reason. It usually happen for a reason. And it's almost like when I'm in a conversation, I already can tell. It's like a magnet something. This person call out of blue. That person call out of blue. This person want that. This person is texting. So it's so crazy. Depending on what kind of message I'm giving. It's like how you is the king of the kingdom and everybody think they got control over you. Spending your money, doing whatever they want to do, taking, you know, Get, getting concubines and bitches or whatever and you sitting there you know you can't do nothing you can't have fun you can't do nothing and that's why I say I feel like a giant is being trapped by a whole bunch of little people no disrespect and the giant know that he can just really flop out of that little thing okay and just squash all them damn people but he won't 
It's almost like Goliath. I feel like somebody feels like they slayed Goliath with the sling. And I feel like, I don't know. If to them, it's like, I, I don't know why I heard ka-ching, ka -ching, okay? Because I feel like this is this. This is somebody trying to cause somebody a fall here. And they set it up so that you cannot win. Like, even if you have ideas, who are you shooting them to? You know, or you're just supposed to feel like you're just sitting here working for free while everybody else live off of your time. And that's what this is. This is my fucking time. You know what I'm saying? I could be a feminine mask. And, what, and I don't mean that in a literal sense. In my life, it's still going to be me wanting to have... Mm. I'm just am what you see here, okay? But mentally and spiritually and genetically, I feel like there are some of us that have both traits, male and female. And at some point in life, if we were still in the tribe, that would be the point when they would tell you, you have to balance this out. Now, we let you, even though you're a female, you don't have a, you know, a wand, we, we let you see certain parts in life or whatever. Like we let you experience certain things or whatever. And now, you know, it's like this, that we've come to this here. Now it's time to choose something. But it's just like, if nobody is serious about the options or if nobody is like being clear about the next step, the person is not, and they never been a part of this, this ritual. They never been a part. They're going, they're set up for failure. It's almost like we were just reading the other day when it said you let your, your babies out too early or whatever before they ready. And it's, it's kind of like a abort mission. It's like somebody that was birthed into a nation, then everybody just backed up. Like, now go ahead and handle it yourself. When they know everybody else had extra fucking help. They know everybody else that been building with they motherfucking ass behind my back in my motherfucking kingdom that had help. Everybody. Even had help to come after me. Like, rather these people just woke up and got these downloads same way a motherfucker give me download. If it mattered to my God, then my God would make sure that I fucking know it. Or I know how to get there. Or I know what this shit is clear as fucking day. That's why I see very clear throughout my day with my God. And the way I feel and everything lined up with that shit. Is what people be trying to do in the background or the back of my mind or the back something that I don't, you know, that's the part. But I don't know. Because I feel like they feel like they can't attack me in my daily activities and get me to go off and do some crazy shit. So <clears throat> I feel like that's when they come into your dreams in the night to do crazy shit. You see what I'm saying? But also... Like, demon or divine. I'm just wondering here. But I'm also hearing a flower bloom in a dark room. Would you trust it? Okay. Yeah. But I am picking up on past mas masculine energies today. All of a sudden, I just started feeling kind of sad or whatever. Or reminiscent. And, and you know, two, two masculines just flashed through my mind here. <clears throat> and I feel like I can't stand the fact that people just misinterpret how far this goes. I see outwardly. I kind of can't see what's going on, like I said, inside when it comes to this sleep realm. I only know like the senses, uh, senses or whatever that I feel. Excuse me. Um, yeah. Like it's like my emotions consume whatever dreams were in order to be able to operate or whatever. So, again, it's just making me mad because I'm now I'm just irritated. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, what the fuck? 
If somebody want to, if somebody trying to arrange a meeting with me, this is not the way it goes. Like, what the fuck? Okay, it been two years. It's just like I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm over. I mean, the meeting could be in the stars, motherfucker. It could be at uh, a public place. The meeting could be in my mind. But let's come to some kind of conclusion with this shit and move the fuck on. Because I don't, you know what I'm saying? This what the buck stops here. For me, obviously. This part is where it stops. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. Um, and I'm still feeling like a growth is coming. Abundance is coming. Everything is good. Life is good, very good, and it's almost like, you know, like right now, I mean, it's a simple fucking thing. This this is how people like to keep me pulled, and, they say, and this is how I'm about to change that shit right the fuck now, okay? Because physically and everything, and in this realm right here, this fake realm probably, okay, I feel like, you know, yeah, this shit is going on right here, but I can't be take, making no premature, premature choices. And just leaping out in a on a motherfucking thing. I'm telling you that right now. Anybody that's upset about that can go the fuck some. Because then you don't understand me and you don't understand me. And you don't want me to be fucking comfortable. You want me to make a reckless thing. Do something reckless and probably fuck up the rest of my life. So at the end of the day. If some shit don't. If the motherfucker don't lay nothing down straight for me. I don't even want to look in that fucking direction. Okay. And right now, what I'm worrying about is some kind of stability when it comes to my finances, since everybody worry about that shit. Including me, but I'm always choose the more wise way. So I chose myself. I'm about to just do what I have to do. I almost feel like if I stay here, I'm going to be harassed. By energy in my dream or sleep realm. But I feel like how can you even escape that? Because you're going to dream and go to sleep everywhere the fuck you go. And, and even if somebody's saying, oh, it's negative energy, it's negative energy. It's going to be negative energy every fucking where you go. So that's why I think God gave me. They may think they're helping me out because that's what they got to do. But God made me different. Bulletproof. Titanium. And again, I could be in the damn same house probably with 10 devils and still, I don't know about whatever other realms, but in this realm, I still have full fucking control. So I can still manifest greatly. I just don't try to manifest for myself, which I probably should start doing that. I manifest for the world. On the fucking national world scale. So it take a lot. I'm sorry if I'm tired a lot. It take a lot out of me that people don't see. Even now I'm just tired again. And I have the choice every day to wake up. And either you know what I'm saying. And I try not to you know. Um. Lean on any kind of medication or anything. Or excuse me. So a lot of times I just go with the flow. I just go with the motions. Of this sleep disorder or whatever. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, that was it. I don't know. That was supposed to just be the funny uh, video about the lighter or whatever. <laughs> but it turned into something totally different. I don't know. The only thing I'd be hoping is that whatever I'm saying can make like a change or whatever. A lot of people feel like, you know, you just sit there and you just call out these orders or you just make these. But anything to just change the minds of the people. Like if that's all I can have access to, you know what I'm saying? I just want people to think, not even think like me, but just to motherfucking think, man. I feel like there's so much rapid change, but there's so much that has already been changed. It's almost like somebody's just trying to reach their hand out to bring me into the other side and show me, look, look, we fixed the world. When you was in that bubble, we fixed it. <laughs> and all that bad stuff that was happening, we listened to you. And look, here's the whole new world. You know, we fixed it on the magic motherfucking carpet. 
Okay. You know? Because in the end, this princess or this queen or this empress is going to get her emperor or her, you know, most high motherfucking energy on this planet. <laughs> you know? Once we separate all the facts from the motherfucking fiction. I feel like it's I deserve it. Just like a lot of other people deserve it too. I feel like, you know, this is the this is it. This is kind of like the end time. This is, you know, the saving the best for last or Israel, you know, being last or whatever. But that's just messed up, like I said. But now that I'm glad that that taught me that the reason why we were being put last is because other people were being brought in and put first. So instead of you being, you know, this is that trickster magician energy here. Instead of you being the empress of your kingdom, some other scraggly bitch is up there acting like she the motherfucking empress. You know what I'm saying? And the emperor sitting here acting like, or the emperor, empress, whatever, however you want to swap it, is acting like that shit can't be changed. You know what I'm saying? And even just in these days, it's about money saying who's the big man. Not the one with the most wisdom. Not the one with the most, you know, other things or attributes here. Okay? But somebody with the most money. And we know sometimes with motherfucker with the most money ain't shit. They can't even relate to a motherfucker with no money. And most motherfuckers in the world don't got no money. <laughs> I mean, not no money like that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it. <laughs>